Rebel six year 100 proof. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to That Bourbon Dude. My name is Charles. We are back again. We have an amazing new product coming out. But before we get into that, I want to thank everyone for showing up for the live stream. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you're enjoying this content, please uh, make sure that you're a subscriber and hit that uh, bell notification to make sure you're getting notified for all of my upcoming videos and get that like a smash so I'll know that you're enjoying the content. All right, folks. Let's take a look at what we got here. This is a new release coming out from the Lux Row Distillery. This is the Rebel 100 aged six years and the 100 represents the 100 proof or 50% ABV. All right, folks, I'm glad to get this one. I saw this on the list of things that were going to be available this month, and I was excited because I am a Rebel fan. The other Rebel, the regular 100, it's only four years old. It's very good. I use it in a lot of cocktails. This bumping up two more years makes me believe we're going to get a more rounded and balanced flavor profile, so I'm really looking forward to this. And it comes in at around 50 55 bucks. so six year 55 bucks 100 proof that's pretty good value i think but it's only a real good value if it tastes good as well so i'm gonna get this thing cracked open pour it up let it breathe give it about 15 or 20 minutes and i'm gonna come back with you guys and then we are going to find out if the new rebel is worth your money so let's get this done here all right oh hey we got a cork this time Oh, hey, that ain't bad. Oh my gosh. As soon as I pop that cork, it just like whew, right in the face, everything. Oh my gosh, so sweet. I'm gonna pour a heavy pour. I wanna make sure I get to enjoy this one. Let's get this in cork back up. All right, folks, let's take one quick look at it. What do you think? looks pretty good it's pretty dark actually considering it's only six years old all right so uh, I'm gonna give it uh, 15 20 minutes and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute all right we are back it has been about 15 minutes and I can just tell you as soon as I walked back in the studio this entire room was filled with this lovely scent of this this what's uh, weeded whiskey weeded bourbon am I an idiot I don't even know maybe yeah Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that's weeded. There we go. First off, when I walked in here, it smelled like fresh baked sugar cookies in this room. The entire room was filled with the scent. It's amazing. I couldn't believe it. Like I thought I'd spilt something. I was looking around for a moment, but no, it was just this being open. So let's get into the nose here. Yeah, definitely those, uh, those sugar cookies, a lot of vanilla some dark fruits, a little weedy, maybe not like uh, weedy like the um, 1792 sweet wheat. It doesn't give you like that fresh straw, uh, but there is some weediness in the background. Yeah, fresh, uh, like uh, fresh baked cookies, a little yeasty, maybe uh, hints of uh, vanilla, light caramel. I don't really get any um, woodiness like from the barrel no barrel char nothing like that okay looking at the legs on this man it's got some strong thick legs look at that can you guys see that holy crap all right let's go in for a taste let's find out if it's good yep there's the weediness Yep. Wow. Wow. Okay, folks. <clears throat> I'm usually not lost for words, but I am. This is only 100 proof, and it's only six years old. But this is good. This is like... Maybe my new favorite weeded... Um, bottle 
it is got that wheat there. The breadiness still comes through. Those sugar cookies are there. I'm getting more like a dark fruit on the palate. Maybe a little bit of um, uh, not burnt caramels, but like fresh caramel. Like you just you just fresh um, like made the caramel. Um, let's see. What is this? Let's give it one more go. Yeah, that weediness is there. It's not like intrusive to the point that makes you not enjoy it, but it's just there hanging out. And it's like, hey, you know, I'm here. I'm a wheat. Uh, you know, I got weed in me, but it's sweet. It's not pungent. There's no bitterness to it. Maybe I get a little bit of the barrel char on the palate. Nothing on the nose, though. Very good. Like, exceptional. And then... This only being six years, well, I think this is uh, exceptional. Um, I do um, tend to drink the uh, Rebel 100, the four-year one. I get like the the big handle of it. I use it in the cocktails. <clears throat> It's actually amazing when you mix it with like a uh, Mr. Pib. The the weediness uh, interacts with the uh, Mr. Pib incredibly well. Makes a great just like you know whiskey and coke. Let's do one more uh, sip of this, and I'll give you my final thoughts. A little bit more woody that time definitely has maybe <clears throat> slight youthful notes yes it is six years it's not that old but it's a little bit more mature at the six years that it is versus some of the other four to six year old products that are out on the market so do i think it's worth the 50 55 bucks that they're asking for it yeah I do. I, th I think they knocked it out of the park with this. I think that Luxro is stepping up to the plate and maybe trying to invest more into some more mid-tier, but not, I'm not going to say budget, but like bottles that put you in that $60 category that can compete with a lot of other products because they have a lot of amazing higher-end stuff. Their lower end stuff's not really my favorite. Uh, this here, absolutely go buy this, guys. So if you get the opportunity, you see it on the shelf, it's in your area. Yes, I say buy this, drink it, sip it. Um, I'm actually going to give this thing a shot on uh, on ice just to see if there's any um, transforming of the flavors. I don't typically drink things um, on the rocks, but I think I'm going to start doing that to see if I'm getting anything additional off of it. Um, where I normally just drink everything neat. So, yeah, that's my final thoughts on that, guys. Buy it. It's good. <clears throat> good looking bottle. Um, it just came in my market yesterday, so it just hit the shelves. I grabbed it uh, today. And, um, yeah, get it. Love it. Uh, until next time, everybody. Bourbon Dude out.